Hey there, my beautiful fairies. This is Jessie, your fire fae with Fire Fae Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell down below for me, guys. Sorry for only getting seven readings done last month. It's very hard to find a quiet, zenful place to actually record videos, so bear with me. I'm using a friend's house right now. Okay, so now we are going to pick up where we left off, so we're going to make it up to you guys who I didn't get to, other five signs, the last two air signs, and then, of course, all three looking for all three of the beautiful earth signs. So what are we going to start with? We are going to start with our beautiful Aquariuses. Yes, we are, right? We are in the age of Aquarius. Well, we should be coming out of the age of Aquarius now. We should be in Pisces season, right? Okay. So like, share, subscribe again. Hit that bell down below. Thanks for staying tuned. If anybody's watched me before, everything will be in the box if you want a private reading. And so don't forget to hit the website. I'm still building it and we'll be able to book private readings. But let's go ahead and move you down and get you into the cards because, I mean, how many often, I mean, you want to, I'm, when I get a little bit better set up again, I'll be back in the video. If, you know, it's okay. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for a beautiful Aquarius is for February 2020. Can you believe it? 2020, it's already freaking February, guys. Oh, my God. Who's rooting for who in the Super Bowl? I have no idea. I don't have a dog in that fight. You feel me? So... Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Did pre-shuffle. We'll go ahead and pull the two oracles. This is the Deviant Moon deck. Whoop, got a popper. What is it? The world here. Okay, Aquarius, maybe there's the end of a cycle. Could be dealing with a fixed sign. Even here, this could be representing you. We'll go ahead and keep that. We'll cut it from there. And we'll get into the reading, guys. Bottom of the deck, too. Page of Swords. So somebody here is spying on somebody. Or there is that mental communication that is coming in because pages bring messages. You are delivering this message or you are possibly receiving one of their ending or ending of a cycle here, Aquarius or Cross Watcher, okay? Sorry, trying to, trying to get everything on the screen. Okay, sorry. This new setup, guys, when it comes to recording, if anybody knows the struggles of recording... There we go. Let's do it a little bit up there. Well, I don't know. Okay. All right. We have the strength in reverse. Conflict or crossing us to a sword above us. Where we currently see the situation is the hanged man. Just going to kind of pull the cards, get it quickly done. Bottom of the deck, a past foundation of the situation is the Wheel of Fortune. Another major arcana here. So, so far, we are up to one, two, three, four major arcana. Here, somebody just might not know what to do. This is the conflict. This is the internal mental um, fight going on, possibly. There could be communication here. Somebody just doesn't know what choice to make because they don't have all the factors of the equation. They feel like they're being manipulated here. Recent past events, Ten of Wands. Okay, somebody is letting that burden go and moving on here to the future. Future energy coming in. Ooh, Ace of Cups. What, what, what? Getting that love, getting that love. Go Aquarius, or you're just getting that self-love on, I'm hearing as well. Okay, so where are you currently at with the situation? Nope, that's... If they ain't no messages of love, now I know what's going on here, Aquarius. There might be the ending of a breakup here, the ending of a cycle, the ending of a mental way of thinking or a perception in a situation here that's going ahead. And maybe you are spying or somebody's been spying on you in this cycle here because there's new love coming in. And here is that message. Somebody may be coming also with an apology. Be careful. There's a Mercury retrograde coming up. So a lot of X's will be popping up. What we don't see coming in is the five of swords in the reverse. Okay, this is that avoidance of the conflict. Okay, but be careful. This is that winning at all costs. Okay, they may have put the swords down and been able to sideswipe and charismatically get out of a situation. But they did it because they just ran away from the fight I'm hearing. Hopes and fears. We have somebody waiting for their, basically, ships to come in in the traditional rider weight. This here, we're waiting for our corn to sprout. All right, it is a special corn because it is growing by moonlight, okay? So what that tells me is there's things going on in the background that spirit's doing and working in your favor that you don't see. All right, Aquarius or Cross Watcher? And beautiful. There's going to be that choice that's made, that decision, that path, that stability where you're placing your next steps forward and you're moving up that ladder of life as we call it okay beautiful guys beautiful 
Very good energy over here. I'm loving this right now. Loving it. Loving it. Oh, and then here, beautiful foundation of jumping off the cliff. That's what the decision is. Beautiful, beautiful here. Beautiful foundation for the start of a very new, wonderful beginning coming in here in the beginning of February, guys. Okay? I'm loving this energy right now. I know we see the strength card in the reverse dealing with uh, possibly a Leo here in this situation. The woman in this deck is also a Virgo. Okay? In this card. Excuse me, not deck. Um, so somebody could be feeling very manipulated in a situation or not standing in their true power here and having the strength that they maybe need to go ahead and fight through the unknowing, de the decision that needs to be made with the clarifying here, because with the two of swords in the reverse, somebody is just waiting, hanging out, doing their thing. Didn't I say there was possibly, you know, the you see the moon again, there could be a Virgo here. There could be manipulation in somebody's just kind of deciding on what to do. They are purposely waiting, if that makes sense, Aquarius or Cross Watcher. Very well could be you, because somebody might be spying on somebody, internet, Facebook, and Snapchat, and whatever, Tumble in, you, you name it, guys, Tinder, whatever, okay, that they're spying on the situation to see if this cycle is maybe ended. Maybe Aquarius, you're spying to see if something here has ended. We'll get into the clarifiers, but cycle of change something has changed something began to change in your favor so you started to see an uptake maybe that's why Aquarius you are taking a step back and deciding on what your next step will be because you've put down a lot of burdens you're done with the bullshit you're done with the baggage you're done with the um, devaluing of your relationships whether if you're resonating this I usually pull for love so usually we go with love on this but it could very well be career in life um, family uh, relationships siblings works uh, friendships as well okay I'm hearing some type of co-worker drama is somebody putting down because somebody fell for somebody else I'm hearing in an office situation, okay, doesn't, that's, that's somebody's story, not everybody's, okay, so that, with that burden being put down, or somebody realizing that they're going and taking what they want, and putting the burdens inside, and moving forward, you see how he's walking with his sticks, he's like, all right, I got what I need, I'm out of here, okay, so that brought in the beautiful love, the new cup being offered. The Ace of Cups is that divine love being brought in. Do you see the moon again blowing the cup of love? And she is appreciating, or, or he, I only say female because I see the little spot of hairs. All right. And the dress. But this energy here with this new love, especially with the Page of Cups showing up, it's somebody here, it may just be in the beginning stages of it as well. It might just be, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Let's meet up. You might be seeing each other possibly, um, you know, a couple nights a week on the weekends, taking it real easy. But still, somebody is offering the fishy here. They're tickling that little fish is fancy. So you know what that means, right? There might be a lot of um, tickling going on. <laughs> we'll keep it. Yeah, you hear the kitty cats? Anyway, what we don't see coming in, that five of swords energy, right? Somebody here, like I said, has possibly walked away from multiple party situations and not wanted to deal with it, okay? Yeah, somebody is maybe just stepping back and avoiding everything because they're wanting to truly focus on work and focus on themselves and build themselves up, which could very well be you here, Aquarius, a cross watcher, okay? With the world ending of a cycle here, this is the end. And somebody's been focusing really hard on the ending, here we go, two of swords again, but we're popping up in the upright. That's what it is. Somebody doesn't know what to do. They don't have all the variables to the equation, so they're not sure what choice is the right one to make. They have two swords here. They're not sure who to swing. They're not sure whose head to chop off, hence why this is upside down, okay, on the conflict area. Let's, seven of swords just made an appearance to me. All right, so let's see. What's the two of swords in the reverse here now for spirit? Okay, thank you, spirit. Yeah, somebody might have came in very flighty, very recklessly, Aquarius. This could be you. This could be the other energy. Because the knights here, we know, um, they do bring in, you know, new beginnings, new tidings, because they're so swift, especially him with being air. And that charismatic message, and they're saying what you want to hear, talking about what you want to talk about. Or this could be somebody else who came in and maybe threw a sword and like, hey, no, this, this situation ain't going to work. Or somebody is coming in very swiftly to make a decision in this. But, well, 
somebody came in swiftly or some knowledge or some information. Something happened where something came in swiftly here with this. Sorry. My thread's drying up for some reason. What's the hang man for? Very interesting. The judgment. Ooh, and the page of swords now in the reverse. That's that hard core spying. Okay, some people may be, it's that negative spying too. You might have haters spying on you guys. Okay, but there was a judgment call here made. Somebody's deciding to make that judgment call. They're deciding what is the truth, what is in their highest good, what is going to work for them. That's why they're kind of studying the situation. Do you see the little clock being pointed out to me? Somebody may be waiting for an answer or somebody to make a judgment call, and somebody's doing a lot of spying in the process to see what the fuck somebody's deciding to do. Sorry if I swear. Other readers out there, if you don't, take it as it resonates. What's the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit? What are we doing with the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. Here, somebody began this cycle of change to end the into old ways, to end old perceptions of love and relationships, or get rid of toxicity and old energy that was no longer functioning well in their life, that was keeping them very stagnant, okay? And yet somebody was very victorious at this cycle of change. Or something came in, like I said, the moon here, that spirit energy came in and boop, gave somebody a shakeup and thus brought about a lot of change. Boop, boop, boop. I'm hearing somebody likes Betty Boop. Yeah, see, somebody is done. Somebody here in the past got their heart broken. We have the Three of Swords here. That's that despair, that up all night, that well, that's the Nine of Swords too. But this is that pain. This is that devastating pain where you could have been a third party situation. I don't always want to jump to that when you see this. Everybody's always like, oh, oh third party. I mean, we do see three, two threes here. So it very well could be, okay? Very well could be, yeah. And here's the King of Pentacles, and it could be with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay? Or possibly a boss-like energy. Could be even an Aries, because I'm picking up that the dominant energy here could very well have very strong signs in the fire area. So, something. But this energy, what I'm hearing is, is, yeah, somebody, I just stopped, you hear that? I know, it's not normal. Oh. What it is, is it's somebody's wanting to offer this love to this king of pentacles. And this person might be just focusing on their money or they see this energy. Or it's this king of pentacles who's getting over their heartbreak and releasing the burdens and coming with the cup of love. Because this is that love or this is that apology that somebody's maybe wanting to hear and void and put down all the conflict. Somebody's done fighting because the heart has been broken. Why is my page of cups here, Spirit? Well, actually, I don't know. What's the King of Pentacles showing up for again? Spirit's telling me to clarify. Well, there's the world popping out. We're not going to take it. There's the Hierophant. Could very well be a Taurus. I told you. King of Pentacles energy. That boss energy. Could be dealing with a government institution. Could actually be dealing with a boss or somebody in a co-worker spot. That's why I said I did feel up there might be some career energy around this so it could be at a job yeah see the knight of cups coming out sideways so this king of pentacles energy may have been the player type energy it may have already he may have already had a commitment elsewhere hence why he's showing up at the king of pentacles does not have to be a man could very well be a woman this could very well be same sex energy as well okay but this king of knight this king of pentacles is clarified by the knight of cups and this is that love being given to more people than just one, all right? Because now we've got the second night showing up. Very well could be third party, because now we've got two and a king. You feel me? The page of cups is clarified, but the knight of wands. Okay, now here's the third one. All right, I guess I can't deny it. This is, There's three energies here. Look at one, two, three. The, you know what I'm saying? This is this one here. Oh, lordies. Lordy, lordy, lordies. It's like the error of the third party. Like, Jesus Christ, guys, get your shit together. Sorry, I don't mean to swear. All right. But what this is, this is the actual fastest moving knight in the tarot deck. He is the knight of wands. He is very action oriented. He can be very impulsive and reckless at times, just like this guy down here. All right, Aquarius. But this guy actually goes and is 
done the reckless move, if that makes sense. This one come in recklessly with their mouth. This one come in recklessly with their actions. This one come in recklessly with their lovings. Y you dig? It's... That's what I'm saying. There could be that player type energy going on and that cup being offered to other individuals as well, Aquarius or Crosswatcher. Just saw 1515. Look the angel number up. Five of swords in the reverse. What's it mean? What's it mean? There's that strength popping out. We'll take that one. The, there we go. Somebody here, somebody's avoiding the conflict and walking away from the situation because they're deciding to step back and stand in their power and realize that there's no need to be manipulated in this situation because they just need to make a fucking decision. Sorry. I don't know why. Somebody need to hear that. You just need to make a fucking decision and just do it already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see? Somebody's emotionally walking away. I saw the Eight of Cups. There he is. Popping out. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces with that energy. But somebody's fighting the strength to walk away, and they're no longer wanting to fight for this bullshit and this fuckery is what I'm hearing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, see? Somebody wants stable commitment here. They want the house, the picket fence, the car, the 2.5 kids, the kitty cat, you name it. They want holidays with the families, okay? They want bitching about the mother-in-law in secret, okay? And then still smiling in their face. And that's what we're seeing. And maybe that commitment is coming in because somebody is emotionally moving away or somebody is walking away and going towards this commitment or this commitment could be coming in Hopefully, or somebody is fearing that somebody is moving away from the situation and giving the commitment to other people or somebody else, okay? Take that um, as it resonates. Take the energy where it goes, okay? If it doesn't fit, throw it out, guys. What's our two of wands? King of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so here's the other king here. So this energy here, this is the king that's... Not emotionally balanced or stable or where he needs to be in a situation because he's too busy listening to other fucking people, okay? He's getting bad advice, all right? This energy here when they're like this. It's very self-serving emotional advice. 1717, I just seen it. 15, 15, 17, 17. Look them up, guys, all right? And this emotional detachment and this emotional fuckery, okay? that's going on because somebody needs to make a choice or decision is being made but the thing is is somebody is going to be getting hurt in this situation and it could be a couple of somebody's why is the page of swords up there as the bottom because somebody yeah see somebody's been spying and seeing and seeing what's going on in the situation and they're just taking a breast or breast somebody's looking at somebody's breast taking a rest from the situation right now they just want peace. They want nothing to do with it. They want to end this cycle. They're just focusing on building themselves and loving themselves. They told you there she is, the high priestess in the reverse, the unknowing, but the knowing. This is that energy that this is divine knowledge that comes in. This is that hidden shit going on in the background that you don't see that's getting ready to set you up for situations so you may not be going through this energy yet you have already gone through it if not you're getting prepared for your ten of cups or you're starting to see that your ten of cups is extremely toxic and maybe still tied to somebody else because we have two kings here this gentleman right here is always representing a father a stable home a stable life with the family and the legacy attached to it okay so that's what i'm saying this could very well be a third party situation with the toxicity here because remember at the bottom is what we don't see coming somebody's not moving into there's the five of swords there's the queen of wands see there was the fucking nine of swords god damn it sorry guys i don't like that i don't like that energy it started off really good you know what I mean? But it is actually still very good because you are going to wind up making a decision here come the end of the month possibly. Four to six weeks is usually what I heard in regards to energy flows. What's this? Yep. There's the flow. There is the beautiful Wheel of Fortune popping out in our Night Psychic Tarot. Ooh, there we go. See? Okay, perfect. 
reach out giving and receiving so basically what's going on is you understand and maybe seen what was happening and what was going on with this fuckery and you know this cycle of change needed to occur so you guys could have a healthy stable relationship and somebody is wanting to reach out here or telling you to reach out or you want to reach out yourself okay and giving and receiving. So make sure there's equal reciprocity in this as well, okay? So before you go ahead and decide or you want somebody to reach out or decide in regards to reaching out, I'm told, make sure you're giving and receiving to the proper energies here because it seems that maybe you're just dating around, okay? And it's not really any third-party energy. It's just you're dating around. You have a lot of options, okay? Aquarius or cross watcher. Last card, last card. Oop. No, we're not going to do that. Feel out my hand. Let's see here. Jesus, we're not taking all those either. It is just nuts. Sorry about the jumping camera, guys. That's because that devil energy wanted to be popping out. I'm like, mm-mm, not today, Satan. Yeah, see? Obedience. And it kind of flipped out in the reverse. This is that blind obedience. This is justice here. This is that decision making. This is that understanding and that knowledge because maybe something did come out that somebody did not know beforehand. Because do you see the blindfold? They are only wanting truth and justice and what is right with the love of the world and everybody in it. If not, they're going to chop your fucking head off. That's it. <laughs> I mean, for real. That's how that be rolling. You know what I'm saying? So, take it as it resonates, guys. Cycle of flow is um, um, in the process. The cycle is going to come to an end. You are going to be putting an end to a situation. Somebody is going to be emotionally walking away. And you're going to be standing in your power in it, which is a beautiful thing. Okay? But if not, don't worry. The decision will be made. There is going to be a choice. And they're going to wonder who it is. It may be you, it may be somebody else, I don't know. But you never know, it's your relationships, guys. Let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell down below. Jesse, your fire faith with Fire Faith Hero. Bye, Aries. Aries, that's who's next, I guess. Aquarius, bye.